Welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, we are at Caribou Coffee trying their featured trending caramel menu, which I don't really know what about it is supposed to be new. Excuse the photo bomber or video bomber. I, I really don't, because I'm outside a gym and a caribou. It's interesting. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I doubt these are anything that are limited time, so it's gonna be a while until I get this up. But this is what was trending when I was driving around Carolina, and I said, I'm gonna do a caribou, caribou review. So you've got turtle, which is the most interesting one. I got it chilled because I wanted the whipped cream. Um, the, the fancy whipped cream only comes on hot or uh, frozen. You get a specific whipped cream with nitro. You don't get any whipped cream with ice, which doesn't make any sense. Put whipped cream on iced, please. Please, what, what, what's up, caribou? Why? Why? Do I have, I mean, I, I, I'm trying to order on the app, so I, I'm sure I can request it, but what's going on? So the rest, I've, I've just got regular caramel for the most part, I believe. I've got the shaken espresso, and then there's a iced berry that I got, so um, at least that's interesting, the iced berry, but I'm going to go ahead, put that in there, try and get my face in there, and then, I'm sorry, thumbnails can be a struggle sometimes, and there you go, that is what it is. Alright, so I wanted to start with turtle, but I think the best thing to do is start with regular caramel. So we're doing the nitro high rise. So it's a caramel and espresso mixture. Of course, I got the nitro cold brew as the uh, as the drink. So let's try it. You can barely tell that it's cold brew. That is a rich amount of caramel. It's super smooth. It's delicious, um, creamy, really enjoyable. Of course, basic. It's just caramel and coffee, but I like it a lot. I'm gonna give it eight. I'm gonna give it an eight. I think if it was like salted caramel, that would be pushing like a nine or a 10, but it's just a rich caramel beverage. I, and I do wish a little bit more coffee flavor came through. Maybe the shaken espresso will carry us to that next level. Shaken espresso. So, you know, they, they shake different things together. So, caramel, coffee, some milk. Let's try it. This one's definitely more coffee forward. With rich notes of caramel. You know what I would say? What I'll probably end up doing? is mixing these two things together. Because this is good. Um, but it's just very heavy on the coffee. So if you like coffee with some caramel, I think this is my, this might be your choice. To me, I'm not the biggest caribou coffee lover. Like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of their brew. But it's not bad. And I think there's a nice amount of caramel where it's an enjoyable beverage, but not something that's super special. Uh, I'd probably give this like a seven. I think that's that's about where it would fit. It's like a seven. It's not leaving me going, eh, it's okay. Maybe you should get it or eh. I don't know if you should get it. It's, it's definitely, I think if you like coffee, some caramel, and it's not like the richest brew out there, I think you'll be pleased. I'm pretty pleased, so... That's my kind of justification on there. Um, you're not as good as the nitro, but still good. So now, oh, we're gonna skip over that because that has nothing to do with caramel. It's uh, chocolate and raspberry. But now we're moving on to chocolate and caramel, basically, in the turtle mocha. See, if it blended together, I think they blended the pieces of candy in there. 
Or maybe it was just me knocking it in there. That is super rich. But it's definitely for someone that's going to love chocolate and caramel. Very indulgent. I would say maybe too sweet and not enough coffee. But definitely my favorite mix of flavor, right? And I think you would probably be better off getting it iced or getting it one of the other forms. I just was like, okay, I want this whipped cream with the chocolate on top and only hot, which I'm not a big fan of hot drinks, or frozen came with it. So for where it stands, even though it's super rich, super sweet, I still like it more than the other drinks. I'd give it an eight and a half. If it wasn't so sweet, we'd probably even have a higher rating. Um, so still a nice mix of flavor. All right, so to end this off is the weirdest one. I just never understood fruit with coffee, but berry white mocha. So it isn't chocolate, it's white chocolate. And they make it with oat milk. It's a cold foam. And so there's a lot going on but it's supposed to be raspberry and white chocolate, so let's go ahead and try it out. That raspberry really sticks out, that's for sure. Again, I just feel like raspberry and coffee are just two things that just are weird together. But it's interesting. It's definitely intriguing. It's nowhere close to my favorite com combination of flavor. But they make the transition work pretty well. Yeah. It works. Um, but it's definitely not something I'm going to tell myself, Wow, this is what I got to get again. No. I'm, I'm not seeing myself there, but if you if you want to try raspberry and coffee together, I think this is this is a good combination. They make it work, and they make it taste pretty solid. I give it a six, just because of everything they do to it to, to make it combine well together. But it's not going to be something that you drink every day. It's not going to be that seven to ten range where it's like, okay, this is very solid. This is it's just a decent beverage that you can't really improve upon, right? I mean, it's hard to justify raspberry and coffee. It's just a really hard thing to justify. So you're never really going to see me go out there and say, wow, it's up there. I don't even remember what I thought. I had Scooter's raspberry chocolate not long ago. I don't even remember what I thought about it because it's just such a weird combination that I just want to try it I move on. And I'm like, okay, I got better things to do with my life. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. And I'll see y'all around. Yeah!